atelectasis. Definition Atelectasis is the loss of lung volume caused by inadequate expansion of the air spaces collapse. It results in shunting of inadequately oxygenated blood from pulmonary arteries into veins, thus giving rise to a ventilation-perfusion imbalance and hypoxia. Atelectasis refers either to incomplete expansion of the lungs, neonatal atelectasis, or to the collapse of previously inflated lung producing areas of relatively airless pulmonary parenchyma, acquired atelectasis. Airway collapse may involve all or part of a lung. Atelectasis is one of the most common findings seen on a chest x-ray because a lot of radiology is about pattern recognition. Types of atelectasis On the basis of underlying mechanism and the distribution of alveolar collapse, Atelectasis is classified into three forms. Resorption atelectasis, obstructive or absorptive. Definition. Airway obstruction causes the loss of pre-existing air in the peripheral alveoli leading to alveolar collapse. Resorption atelectasis occurs when an obstruction prevents air from reaching distal airways. Since the lung volume is diminished, the mediastinum shifts towards the atelectatic lung. Causes Obstruction of a bronchus by excessive secretions, mucus or mucopurulent plugs, or exudates within smaller bronchi due to surgery, diminished respiratory movement resulting from postoperative pain, foreign body aspiration, particularly in children, bronchial asthma, bronchiectasis, chronic bronchitis, or intrabronchial tumor, centrally located bronchogenic carcinoma, in which it may be the first sign of malignancy. Pathogenesis. Airway obstruction by thick secretions prevents air from reaching the alveoli. Airway obstruction occurs in the bronchi, segmental bronchi, or terminal bronchioles, TBs. After obstruction, the circulating blood in the pulmonary capillaries absorb the pre-existing air in the peripheral alveoli, leading to alveolar collapse and an airless state within a few hours. Clinical findings. Most common are fever not related to infection and dyspnea, difficulty with breathing within the first 24 to 36 hours after surgery. Absence of breath sounds and vocal vibratory sensation tactile fremitus, dullness to percussion. The second form of atelectasis is compression atelectasis. Definition, collapse of small airways and alveoli deep to the pleura that occurs when air or fluid in the pleural cavity is under increased pressure. It results whenever significant volumes of fluid, transudate, exudates, or blood, tumor, or air, which is a pneumothorax, accumulate within the pleural cavity. The mediastinum shifts away from the affected lung. Examples include tension pneumothorax in which increased air pressure compresses the lung, large pleural effusion usually in the setting of congestive heart failure in which increased fluid compresses the lung, basal atelectasis resulting from a failure to breathe deeply commonly occurring in bedridden patients, in patients with ascites, and during and after surgery. Contraction atelectasis or cicatrization atelectasis occurs when focal or generalized pulmonary or pleural fibrosis prevents full lung expansion. Except in cases caused by contraction, atelectasis is a reversible disorder. Note, patchy atelectasis may result from loss of pulmonary surfactant which is seen in hyaline membrane disease of the newborn. Another form of atelectasis is round atelectasis. This is a combination of cicatrization and compressive atelectasis. It usually occurs in patients with underlying pleural disease, such as asbestos exposure or possibly a pleural effusion. Pleural effusion causes adjacent compressive atelectasis and the visceral pleura folds in on itself and then 
pulls the adjacent lung in due to surrounding fibrous adhesions. As the effusion shrinks, the compressed lung remains trapped while the surrounding lung aerates. Right middle lobe syndrome. This refers to atelectasis due to obstruction of the bronchus to the right middle lobe. It's usually from external compression by hilar lymph nodes. This bronchus is particularly susceptible to external compression because it is long and slender and surrounded by lymph nodes. Histologically, the lung shows bronchiectasis, chronic bronchitis, and bronchiolitis, lymphoid hyperplasia, abscess formation, and dense fibrosis. Acute and organizing pneumonia may both be present. Tuberculous lymphadenitis or metastatic lung cancer may cause the lymph node enlargement, but the cause of the obstruction is often undetermined. Subsegmental atelectasis. This is actually one of the most commonly seen types of atelectasis on a chest x-ray. It is also called plate-like or discoid atelectasis. It results in linear opacities which often abut the pleura. It is a cause of collapse of the air spaces that are smaller than a single bronchopulmonary segment. It can be caused by hypoventilation, bronchial secretions, asthma, aspiration, or obstruction. It's often seen in patients who present with abdominal pain because they're just not taking a very deep breath and that results in subsegmental atelectasis. Diagnosis. Chest X-ray. Atelectasis has very sharp margins and it usually displaces the fissures, mediastinal structures, and hemidiaphragm towards the site of atelectasis. Atelectasis can really involve any portion of the lung. It ranges from the entire lung to just a very small subsegmental portion. Radiographic patterns in different lobar atelectasis. Number one, right upper lobe atelectasis or collapse, shift of the minor fissure superiorly, shift of trachea towards the site of collapse, the S sign of golden. This is due to hilar mass causing obstruction of the bronchus, which results in right upper lobe collapse. Number two, right middle lobe atelectasis or collapse. It silhouettes the right heart border on the frontal view. There's elevation of the diaphragm. There's a density overlying the heart on the lateral view. Number three, right lower lobe atelectasis or collapse. Shift of the major fissure down. Shift of heart to the right. Elevation of the right hemidiaphragm. Silhouetting of the right hemidiaphragm. Density seen posterior to the heart on lateral view. Number four, left upper lobe atelectasis or collapse. Hazy density around the left hilum. Elevation of the left hemidiaphragm. Shift of mediastinal structures to the left. Lateral view demonstrates linear density posterior to the sternum. Hyperlucent crescentic appearance surrounding the aortic knob termed the Luftsichel sign which is due to compensatory hyperexpansion of the left lower lobe. Number five, left lower lobe atelectasis or collapse. Density behind the heart on the frontal view, shift of the major fissure down, silhouetting of the left hemidiaphragm, and density posteriorly on the lateral view. Treatment. Atelectasis should be treated promptly to prevent hypoxemia and superimposed infection of the collapsed lung. Management focuses on underlying cause and includes manual chest physiotherapy, mechanical insufflation, exufflation, mechanically assisted cough, intrapulmonary percussive ventilation, and intermittent positive pressure breathing. Surgery may be necessary for severe compressive atelectasis. Atelectasis versus pneumonia on radiography. Atelectasis has sharp borders, whereas a pneumonia has hazy borders. Atelectasis has no air bronchograms, while pneumonia shows air bronchograms. And atelectasis causes volume loss and a silhouette sign. In pneumonia, there is no volume loss, 
but you could have a silhouette sign. Both atelectasis and pneumonia have increased density. While atelectasis shows rapid changes over time, pneumonia shows only slow changes over time.